Today, Lexington Mayor Linda Gordon announced new steps taken to combat racial inequality in the city. One month ago, the Commission for Racial Justice and Inequality presented 54 recommendations. The mayor outlined the steps that have been completed, those that are in progress and long-term projects. Shelby Lofton sat down with some of the commission members to get an update. After a summer of protesters marching through downtown Lexington demanding change, city leaders are responding with what they've accomplished. And we saw lots of protests all over the country and uh, some places were violent, some were not. Uh, our thinking was that the way we could deal with this in Lexington was to appoint a commission. That commission has already put recommendations into action for the city and the police department. Racial equity, education and econ economic opportunity, we had health disparities, we had law enforcement justice and accountability, and we had housing and gentrification. Among the ideas being implemented, $261,000 will go toward body cameras for officers, a new city department to help with housing issues and community support. More than $2 million has already been put toward eviction prevention, and what was once a slave auction site, Cheapside, has a new name, Henry Tandy Centennial Park. There's more work in store for that area. How do we reimagine that park? And the businesses, you know, there are a lot of businesses surrounding it, they're very interested in this. Half a million dollars will be poured into a years-long disparity study. That disparity study is going to take a couple years. It's a big deal. But there are things that we can do in the meantime. City leaders said transparency is a big step. We try to do things differently here, and being a part of that and being up front is uh, definitely a good, good opportunity to be a part of that. Mayor Gordon promised not to let any of the recommendations gather dust. Instead, the commission is gaining momentum. In Lexington, Shelby Lofton, Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. Among the changes still to come is implicit bias training for all city employees to complete.